Welcome everyone. This study group today is focused on preparing for the Agent Force and Sales Cloud portion of the Agent Force Specialist Exam, uh, which will make up 10% of our total score. Um, today, we're gonna review how Salesforce Agent Force tools uh, like Agent Force SDR, Sales Coach, and Supporting Features help sales uh, reps automate outreach, improve their conversations, and close deals more effectively. You guys all know this slide. Please make all of your purchase decisions on products and services that are currently available. I do not work for Salesforce. I do not speak for Salesforce. I am merely here as a member of our beautiful study group to try and get everybody ready. Um, we are going to follow a practical use case to explore how Agent Force tools um, work in a real sales flow. Along the way, we are going to connect everything back to the exam objectives of understanding features, identifying use cases, and knowing when and how to implement each tool. Um, Anna did a great job in session four of going over what the sales tools in the original AI specialist exam um, as they were laid out that time and went through feature by feature of those different tools and really talked about what they were. Uh, and today we're gonna talk about how and why they are used. Um, so it's really gonna be a deeper dive into those tools that we've already had a preview into. Uh, we'll kind of consider that the technical foundation. Uh, and then today it's gonna be how we have the applied scenario of what brings it to life. Okay, welcome back to Cloudy Spa. This is a luxury spa where we met our friend Ava back in week two of our study group. Today, we're going to walk through how Agent Force for Sales is used to attract, convert, and retain more guests, bringing them back for repeat visits and long-term wellness. Meet Zig. She is our sales consultant for Cloudy Spa. Her mission is to increase repeat bookings and package deals. She does, however, face some challenges when it comes to client follow-up, personalization, and every now and then pushback from clients. Fortunately, Agent Force for Sales has some solutions that can help her address these challenges and help her accomplish her goals. She's been using uh, Agent Force AI tools to help improve with that lead follow-up, handle client objections, and prepare her for conversations with these all too important clients. Instead of learning these tools in isolation, we're gonna walk us through the sales journey that Zig uses to connect those workflows. We are gonna begin with Agent Force SDR. It's an autonomous AI tool that handles lead engagement. It sends personalized spa service emails, responds to inquiries and qualifies leads, freeing Zig to focus on warm prospects. Um, we're able to make this really special for the customer who we want to be able to become part of our spa family. There are tools involved as well, such as the activity timeline that Zig can use to see which emails were open, the spa treatments that were clicked on for interest, and when the guests last visited. SDR will use the data to time different automated outreach. For the exam, remember that this is a foundational feature that improves personalization and helps time the next best action. We also have Call Explorer. Um, sales can use Einstein Call Explorer after they finish a client call, let's say. Zig will use that Einstein Call Explorer to quickly scan what was discussed, like pricing questions, service, service interests, and objections. And instead of replaying the whole recording, she searches key terms and reviews highlights. This helps her follow up with confidence and tailor her next message. If a pattern shows up, like frequent price concerns, Zig can bring this into Sales Coach to practice better responses in the future. Call Explorer helps Zig stay sharp, remember details, and close deals faster. The amazing tool of having the Sales Coach puts salespeople in a different position than they've been before. We've uh, historically counted on in-person review with our managers, um, or team heads to be able to get feedback on how we are doing from a sales perspective. Uh, but once again, it's a human to human scenario. Um, and we can't always 
deep dive in on our schedule when we want to, to be able to see how we're doing from a sales prospect. Um, sales coach uses role play and real time feedback to give Zig help on her uh, improving her objection handling and upselling strategies. This is an assistive AI tool. It trains reps directly, which once again, frees up that time of the sales individual and the management. Um, you will likely see a scenario related to this when it comes to the exam. As a part of the sales coach, we're able to customize those prompt templates. Um, the prompts guide the AI's coach, the coaching tone and focus. So Zig can actually adjust her prompts for different cycles in the sales process, early stage discovery, mid-stage pricing, or late stage closing techniques. Um, prompt templates live in Agent Studio and can be edited to align with business priorities. And using that sales coach for continuous improvement is vital. Um, once again, the ability to be able to use a tool like this rather than putting it in the hands of required time from management, et cetera, this gives us a different perspective because it is cumulative over time. Um, the sales professionals are able to see how their past performances have been and how they've improved over time. Zig herself receives detailed feedback uh, after each practice session. She reviews past scores and advice to get better over time. This supports the upskilling seller's exam objective. It, it's about iterative coaching, not one-time feedback. And if we try and look at our, our agent force sales tech stack altogether, um, we get to see this beautiful flow of how these tools work together of using SDR for outreach, activity timeline for context, sales coach for training, and prompt templates for customization. Um, this, this is very important to be able to apply when it comes to which tool will be used in which scenario when it comes to the exam. Uh, they do have some questions about uh, or at least as it as laid out in the exam um, document, when you look on Trailhead about implementing these different tools, especially SDR and Sales Coach, without going through them specifically, as I've mentioned before, uh, we've got the Agent Blazer series, and it's really important when. And I actually I think it's required now in order to get your Agent Blazer. I forget what they call it, but if you are an innovator or whatever your designation is, um, you have to have completed these different projects as a part of the trail and a part of the Agent Blazer series. Um, but it really is going to help you as it comes to the exam, because each one of these projects will take you through using a specialized org that's got AI, um, the agent force in there and walks you through how to implement each one of the tools, which is really, really important. Um, so I do have obviously just the two different screens here. Please make sure to go to Trailhead and complete those. Um, and, and the differences in, and actually this is really gonna just be for visualization. I wanted to include this and you guys can look at this slide deck later, um, but when it comes to trying to sort through the tools and you're sitting down for the exam and thinking, oh, okay, all of these words kind of come together. I did a little um, quick bullet point of implementing the two different main tools as described in Agent Force sa um, for sales. And what the key differences are is one's being, one is an autonomous AI versus an assistant AI. And what the overarching really goal of each one of those tools is. As we wrap up, remember that the tools like Agent Force, SDR, and Sales Coach are powerful, not just because they use AI, but because they free up reps like Zig to focus on what matters most, building relationships and closing deals. Today, we saw how those tools work together to support a personalized and professional sales journey from first outreach to skill building to post-call insights. 
whether it's scaling outreach with SDR, improving performance with Sales Coach, or using the Activity Timeline and Call Explorer for context, each tool has a role in driving results. Just like Zig walking confidently out of Cloudy Spa, the goal is to leave your customers and your sales reps feeling empowered, prepared, and supported. Use what you learned today, not only to prepare for the Agent Force exam, but also to visualize how AI can elevate your real world Salesforce practice. As you prep for the exam, please remember that there is an exam overview with related links in our shared drive for our study group. Um, I've gone through this, it came directly from Trailhead. It's got links to all of the different help documentation. There is, a, I found this exam to be very help, Salesforce help reader heavy. Uh, it's very important that you read that documentation. Definitely do the um, agent force, um, mm, agent blazer series. Um, and I just appreciate everyone that has joined this entire process. We've all been here for, gosh, I don't even remember how many weeks now, Meredith. It has been I think 14. 14 weeks. Um, so I really appreciate everyone's time and dedication that they have given Meredith and me uh, and each other and all of the great work everyone's done. I um, I really liked the exam and and I didn't feel it was an exam of like, oh, I just need to check this one off. It really gave me a better understanding of how we are all going to be using this. Um, so I will include this slide deck, obviously, in our drive. And I've got uh, links here uh, as we relate to this as well. Thank you, Mariah. 